Welcome to this video on Digital Electronics. In this video, which is the fifth in the series of sequential logic circuits, we will be discussing about design and analysis of synchronous sequential circuits. Synchronous sequential circuits can be modeled in two ways. The models are also called finite state machines or FSMs and the two models are Moore model and Mealy model, also called Moore FSM or Mealy FSM or Moore machine and Mealy machine. Both the models are similar, both have inputs and outputs and internal states. Memory elements that are used are flip flops. The difference between the two models is that in Moore model, the output depends only on the current state of the flip flops, whereas in a Mealy model, the output depends on the current state of the flip-flops as well as the inputs. The difference between the two models, as already mentioned, Moore model, the output is a function of the present state only, whereas in Mealy model, the output is a function of the present state of flip-flops and the present input. In Moore model, the input changes does not affect the output directly. The input changes change the state of the flip-flop and thereby the output is different in different states. Whereas in Mealy model, the input changes affect the output directly. And Moore model requires more number of states for implementing the same function compared to that of a Mealy model. The state diagram of the two models is indicated. As can be seen, there are four states S0, S1, S2 and S3. So in this Moore model, the output of each state is fixed. So when the model is in state S0, the output is 0. For state S1, the output is 1. State S2 it is 0 and S3 1. When the circuit is in state S0 and if an input occurs, the circuit moves to the next state. So when in S0, an input of 0 occurs, the circuit goes to state S3. If an input of 1 occurs, the state goes to the next state S1. Compare it with the Mealy model, here again four states are represented, state 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1 and here the left hand integer indicates the input and the right side it is the output. So, when the circuit is in state 0, 0, if an input of 0 occurs, then the output is 0 and the circuit remains in the same state. Similarly, when it is in state 0, 0, if an input of 1 occurs, the output is 0 and the circuit moves to the state 0, 1. So, in a Mealy machine, the output depends on the current state of the flip-flops and the input. Whereas, look at the Moore machine, the output depends only on the state of the machine. Now, let us compare Moore model and Mealy model with the state diagram and state table for the same circuit. So, in Moore model, the four states A, B, C and D are there. So, when in state A, the output is 0, C it is 1 and so on. When the circuit is in state A, an input 0 occurs, it remains in state A. Whereas, if 1 is the input, it moves to state C. In state C, the output is 1. Look at the Mealy model. So, when the circuit is in state A, if a 0 input is given, then the output is 0 and the circuit remains in the same state. Whereas, if a 1 is given, the output is 0 and the circuit moves to the state C. So, look at the state table. So, the present states are all written, 4 states A, B, C, D. The next state for the input value of 0, x is 0 and x is 1. If the present state is A, and our input of 0 is given, the next state is A. Whereas, if an input of 1 is given, the next state is C. The output is 0 for the state A. And similarly, for a state B, the output is 0. The Mealy model for the same, four states are indicated. So, if the present state is A, if the input is 0, the next state is A. If the input is 1, the next state is C. The output also depends on the condition of the input. So, if input is 0, the output is 0. If the input is 1, the output is 0. Note, for state C, when the circuit is in state C, if input is 0, next state is D. If input is 1, the next state is C. 
Similarly, if input is 0, the output is 0 and if input is 1, the output is 1. As here in the more machine, we state if the present state is C, the output is 1. Let us look into the design of synchronous sequential circuits. This is similar to the design of the synchronous counters that we saw in the previous video. In fact, synchronous counters are also synchronous sequential circuits. So first, for the given problem statement, draw the state diagram. And from the state diagram, draw the state table. It might so happen that for the specified problem statement, redundant states could be included when designing. So use state reduction technique and obtain a simplified state table. The redundant states are all removed. Now, depending on the number of states that are required, decide on the number of flip-flops and assign binary values to each state in the state table. Now, choose the type of flip-flop to be used, whether it is SR, JK or T or D. And then, based on the type of flip-flop that is used, from the state table, derive the excitation table and the output tables. And then, use KMAP and get the logic expression for the output function and the flip-flop inputs. And, draw the logic diagram using these. So let us take an example of a synchronous sequential circuit design. So the problem statement is design a synchronous sequential circuit using JK flip-flops from the state diagram. So in this problem, the state diagram is directly given and also the binary values have also been assigned directly. So here, no outputs are indicated. So in this circuit, the flip-flops change state on application of each clock pulse. So the state diagram taken here for reference or the state table from that. So the present state and next state for inputs of 0 and 1. So when the four present states are indicated, so 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. When the present state is 0, 0 and the input x is 0, the next state is 0 as indicated in the diagram. So 0, 0, if input is 0, the next state is 0. If the input is 1, the next state is 0, 1. Next state is 0, 1. Similarly, fill the rest of the contents of the table. Next, we need to design the excitation table. So for that, from the state table, let us keep mark the inputs here. So for inputs of 0, we have given here x0. There are 4 present states and 4 next states. So redraw the state table from the state table, indicating the inputs along the column. So for input of 0, there are 4 values and input of 1, there are four values. And in the problem, it is specified that JK flip-flops need to be used. So the excitation table for JK flip-flop from this, draw the excitation table for the synchronous sequential circuit. So when QA should be 0 and QA plus 1 should be 0, what are the values of JA and KA? Get it from the excitation table. Similarly, proceed for each of the other inputs. QA is 0, QA plus 1 is 1, J and K value get it from the excitation table, it should be 1x. So fill this for both A and B. For this problem, there are no outputs specified, so we did not have an output column. And from this, get the logic expressions for the flip-flop inputs J, A, K, A, J, B and K, B with the inputs as X and Q, A and Q, B. So draw the K map for each of these with X and Q, A and Q, B as the you know, variables for the K map and get the logic expressions. So the logic expressions are taken here for reference. Now draw the logic diagram. Two flip-flops A and B are used, JK flip-flops, the inputs JK and output QQ bar. And look at the logic expression, JA is X dash into QB, X is the input. So JA to input JA, it is X dash, an inverter and QB. Next to KA, it is XQB. So X and QB is taken. And for JB, it is X and KB, it is X dash into QA dash, X into QA and R of both. So and two AND gates and an OR gate. So this is the logic diagram for the synchronous sequential circuit. So in a previous problem, there was no necessity for state reduction, but we will look at the procedure for state reduction. 
So a state di diagram for the given state diagram, let us draw the state table and proceed with state reduction. So state diagram is given, draw the present state, 5 states A, B, C, D, E and the next states for each of the input. When x is 0 and when x is 1, what are the corresponding next states? Write it down from the state diagram. And similarly, the output for x is 0 and x is 1, what are the outputs? So this represents a melee machine since the output depends on the input. So from the state of A, if input of 1 is given, the machine goes to state C with an output of 0. So state A, when x is 1, the next state is C and the output is 0. Now we need to determine equivalent states. Two states are said to be equivalent if they have exactly the same next state and same output. So let us look over here. State A, the next states are B and C. Do we see any other state like that? No. For state B, D and E, there are no such states. State C, the next state is C for input 0 and D for input 1. Look at any other states. Yes, E also has similar states. E has the next states of C and D. Then let us look at the outputs. So the outputs are 0 and 1. Similarly, E also has 0 and 1. So the next state and the output for state C and for state E are the same. So one of the states can be removed. It is redundant. So let us remove state E. And wherever E appears in the state table, we can replace it by state C. So the reduced state table, we have four states, state E is removed and wherever state E was indicated in the table, C replaces it. So this is the reduced state table and the reduced state diagram for this table. Next, let us take up a problem. Design a synchronous sequential circuit using T flip-flops from the state diagram. Use state reduction if possible and use straight binary state assignment. So here we are required to use T flip-flops and the state diagram is given. We need to solve the problem from the state diagram. So the state diagram taken for reference and draw the state table, the present state, next state for input 0 and 1 and output 0 and 1. So this is again a melee machine. So the state table is drawn and then let us look for state reduction. So any two states that are similar, yes, A and C have the same next states, A, B and A, B. Look at the outputs. The output is 0 and 0, whereas here it is 1 and 0. So A and C are not equivalent states. So we have no equivalent states. Therefore, state reduction is not required. Now for the state table, rewrite it with the inputs as one column, input 0, the four combinations, and input 1, four combinations. So from the previous state table we had in the previous slide, Rewrite the state table with inputs taken in one column. Then using T flip-flops, draw the excitation table and then include the outputs. So outputs for x is 0, what are the values and for x is 1. So write down the outputs also. Next using k-maps, derive the logic expressions, draw k-maps for the flip-flop inputs TA and TB and the output set. Use the variables input x and the present state qa and qb. So the expressions are obtained. Using these expressions draw the logic diagram. Two flip-flops, t flip-flops. So one input. The output z is qa, qb and qa into x dash. So or both and that is the output. So this output can be drawn separately or it can be drawn over here taking the output directly from here. So far, we had seen design of synchronous sequential circuits, that is designing a circuit for a given problem specification. Either the problem statement or the state diagram would be specified. Now let us look into the analysis of synchronous sequential circuits. Analysis describes what a circuit will do under a given condition. And the behavior of a clock sequential circuit depends on the inputs, outputs and the present state of the flip-flops. So let us go for analysis of synchronous sequential circuit. This is exactly the reverse proce procedure for design of sequential circuits. So first, from the circuit that is given, we need to get the logic expressions. And from the logic expressions, get the excitation table 
then the state table and state diagram and using the state diagram we will understand the behavior of the circuit for given input conditions so let us proceed construct a transition table state table and state diagram for the more circuit given below so this is the circuit given the circuit taken here for reference so from the logic diagram that is given let us get the input equations for the flip flop as we can see output f is a x or b so write it down and j a is b so b actually the variable q b the output q b of the flip flop is represented as b similarly q a is represented as a and q a bar as a bar so get the rest of the logic expressions now from the logic expressions let us get the state equations so we have used jk flip flop use the characteristic equation of jk flip flop which we have already seen in the first video on flip flops so jk qn plus 1 next state is equal to j into qn dash plus k dash into qn so getting the state equation from this so a plus or q a plus that is the next state for the a flip flop is nothing but j a from this expression j a into q a bar plus k a bar into q a and we know j a is b we have just seen in the previous slide j a is b replace that k a bar so k a is x dash b so replace it by x dash b simplify the expression similarly for b flip flop the next state expression replace b in this case j b q b dash plus k b dash q b so j b is x bar and similarly k b bar is x x or a and replace it and simplify the expressions now with those expressions the two expressions for a plus and b plus we can draw the state diagram so the expression is there take the variables a b and x so substitute the values of all the combinations and get the output of these expressions and fill the state table so the transition table the present state from the previous state table get the transition table so represent the present state and the next state for x is 0 and x is 1 and the output Next draw the state table. So the inputs x is 0 and x is 1 that we had indicated included separately and the binary values of the states are replaced by variables here. So we get the state table and then from the state table draw the state diagram. In this video we have seen the two models for synchronous sequential circuits. The models are also called finite state machines and the two models are Moore model and Mealy model. We have also seen the procedure for design of synchronous sequential circuits and also the analysis of synchronous sequential circuits. These are the references. Thank you.